What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. I am out trying to film one last crawdad catch and cook video of the year. It's gonna be like 80 degrees today, so just barely warm enough for me to jump into this river. This time of year, usually those crawdads, they're not hiding under rocks anymore. They're sitting out on top, just hanging out uh, on the bottom of the riverbed. So hopefully it'll make the hunting a little bit easier. But first I gotta go grab a little something out of the river to help me with this hunt today. So let's get down to the water, get this underway. So here's the long board I ride around on. It's an arbor board. This is still one of the coolest designs on the bottom of a board that I've ever seen. Been riding around on this thing for like, I don't know, six, seven years. Doesn't get as much use as I'd like, but uh, it's still a fun time. All right, guys, so I've got all my diving gear on. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the river. I'm hoping to spear a carp or a sucker. I've got my uh, Mako Hawaiian sling spear here. I'll have a link in the description below if you guys wanna check these out. These are pretty sweet. I've sharpened that tip up real good. I'm hoping to get a big old carp. That's hopefully gonna help us catch some crawdads later on, because I know crawdads love carp and sucker. Time to dive into the cold water. All right, guys, look at that right there. That's a good 10, 12 pounder. You can see that barb just went right through. Good head shot right there. These carp are difficult to spear just because, see those big scales, that's like armor. And you gotta make sure you have a really nice sharp spear in order to penetrate that, but that's gonna be great. That's exactly what we needed to get this day going. All right, we got that first sucker fish that I speared. We're gonna go put this out on the bottom, do a little hunting for crawdads by hand. Let this guy go to work for us though so we can hopefully double our efforts and crawdads will start gathering around him. We can just pick him right up. All right, first attempt with the sucker fish at the bottom of the riverbed. And it's not long before we get our first crawdad starts wandering this way. Those sucker are really stinky. So it attracts the crawdads pretty quickly. Now look at that big old tubby moving in. That is a humongous crawdad right there. And we'll visit him a little bit later. And then what I'm just able to do is you'll see here, I just swim down, I'm able to pick him right up. There's that same crawdad. He kind of swam off when I came down to pick up the other little ones. But look at that. I mean, that's like a freshwater lobster right there. Look how big that is compared to my hand. Look at the claws, the big meaty claws. I'll never not say that, you know that. Um, the big old claws on that crawdad, that is quite impressive. In fact, we'll measure him up later in the video. So stay tuned for that. And then I just moved the sucker fish around on the bottom of the riverbed. You can see here, look at that little gimpy carp. That's kind of weird. Something like is wrong with its spine or something, but hey, he seems to be living his best life. And of course, it's not long. More crawdads start coming out, just start feeding. Makes my job a whole lot easier. I just come down, pick them right up off of the carcass. That's about the easiest it'll get. Now, while this sucker is actually on the bottom, I'm going around and hunting crawdads in other places as well. So I'm kind of doubling my efforts here. All right, guys, look at this. That is what approximately 107 crawdads looks like. Give or take two or three. Well, that is just a good looking bag all in our first spot. We haven't even hit the other spots yet. Gonna go ahead and empty these guys into our cooler full of ice and go hit the next spot.
So I moved up river to a little bit more of a shallower area. Uh, so I wasn't able to put the sucker fish down in the bottom. So I just went down and just caught them by hand. And like I mentioned before, you'll see it here. They're just literally on the bottom like candy. Look, a couple more right there. Just out and about. I think It's almost like they're sunning themselves, it seems like. Two more right there. That just makes for easy pickings. No flipping over rocks. Makes it super easy to catch them. You can identify them pretty easily on the bottom. They stand out amongst all the rocks. A couple more right there as well. And they're literally just all over, just like this. Sneaky little booger there under the rock. But uh, definitely the easiest time of year to catch crawdads. All right, guys, check that out. There are another 110 crawdads in there. I, we're up to over 200. So, look at that. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look, got one hanging on there. Let go. Oh, got a couple hanging on there. Look at that. That is a cooler full of craw. We got one more stop to make for some crawdads. We got a carp with us. We're going to take him down. But that's not a bad looking cooler right there. All right, we've made it to our final spot here. Hunting crawdads. I have with me a big carp. I feel like at this point, I've been lugging him around all day. I feel like we need to name him. I've literally been dragging him around like a pet. Maybe we'll call him, maybe we'll call him Larry. Come on, Larry, let's go put in some work. All right, so we just filleted Larry out. Larry has become a big crawdad buffet now. Well done, Larry. Let's get you in the water. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hey guys, people are always asking me, Micah, why is it that you have hair, but your bro Ace from Ace Videos and your dad don't? Is it clean living? I really couldn't tell you. But what I can tell you is, two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they hit 35. Well, that's just ridiculous. So there's a company out there doing something about it. And that company is Keeps. Keeps has really revolutionized the way men treat hair loss by delivering their product straight to your door every three months. No more standing in line at the pharmacy or awkward trips to the doctor's office. So click on the link in the description below to get 50% off your first order of Keeps hair loss products so you can keep your long luscious locks for whatever reasons you might have. For me, high school called said it's time to get the band back together. But seriously, give Keeps a try today and return your hair to its former glory. Okay, out of the two trash fish, the carp is way stinkier than the sucker fish. And I don't know why that is. Maybe somebody can explain that to me. You can see there's already a crawdad down there, but I put a couple of rocks on it because there's a pretty decent amount of current moving through this area. But once again, you can see there a little time-lapse footage doesn't take long. Crawdads smell it too. They're out and about. Now look at that. We got a veritable feeding frenzy going on here with these crawdads. Nice little trout coming and making a cameo appearance. Saying hello to the camera. Nice little 13 inch or so probably. Should have brought my fish rod. <laughs> but as you can see once again just popping down grabbing those crawdads up. I've got probably about a dozen of them around this this carp. And it's a lot easier in this section of the river because there's actually a pretty decent amount of current. So I wasn't able to really find many by hand. Now check this trout out again. Look at that. Look at that eye. He's got some scrapes on the side of him. He's been in a fight or uh, he was almost pinched by a bird at one point it looks like. Because uh, that eye does, looks a little worse for wear. But those crawdads got about a dozen around that carp carcass. Again, just picking them up, throwing them right in the bag. Doesn't get any easier than that. All right, guys. I've got another like 60 plus crawdads in here. That makes for like well over 250. We're like 260, 270, somewhere in there. So I also went ahead and let Larry swim free since uh, I don't need him anymore. But we're gonna go ahead and get these guys home along with the rest of them that are in our cooler and get them cooked up. All right, back at my humble abode, we've got the hot water boiling. My little girl, Arabella. Bella, what do you think? Papa gonna be able to eat all these crawdads? You wanna show show the world? Uh-huh, you want a full tummy up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna definitely have a full tummy here. Open that lid up. Let's see those one more time. Look at all of that. 260 plus. You wanna eat any with me? 
Um, yeah. All right, we started off with some Old Bay seasoning, put a healthy amount in there. Then I've also got some Kingsford Cajun style seasoning and we're just gonna go heavy on the sauce with that too. And last but not least, I'm gonna add just a touch of Zatarain shrimp and crab boil. Not a lot because this stuff gets spicy and I've gotta eat 200 crawdads. And I don't wanna eat 250 super spicy crawdads. That's a gut bomb waiting to happen. So just a little bit. And we're also gonna go ahead and add some lemons in there. Whoa, oh, that was a little hot. Just some lemon slices. A little fresh zest going on in our uh, boil. That should taste good. All right, we got rolling boiling water. Now that's what we want. Just grab our ladle, dig in. Yeah, big old scoop. In the go. You wanna help me put some in? Ah. Use Yeah, use your tongs. There you go, grab him, pinch him, pinch him. He can't hurt you. There you go, pick him up. There you go, you got him, you got him. Now drop him in the pot. There you go. High five. Good job. Uh -oh, oh, well. oh, there was another one. I'm going to put you in charge of the ones that are escaping, all right? All right, first batch cooking. Yeah. You see that big claw right there? Move this guy out of the way. Look at that claw. This is that toady. Look at this guy. You want to see him? Look at this. Whoa, he's even got a few with him. Let me show you a size comparison right here. Look at that. Look at that. And that's. Those aren't bad crawdads either. Look, he's got, whoa, look at that, Bella. He's actually crushed one in his claw. That's how big he is. Guys, check that out. That is right at nine inches long. I knew that bad boy was a piggy when I saw it on the bottom. And those claws, look at those claws. Those are just massive. That's definitely the biggest crawdad, crawfish, mud bug, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever caught before. What do you think, Bella? Pretty big? Yeah. I'm holding his tail. He's holding his tail? Yeah, just make sure he don't let his claws get you. Those claws get you. Those suckers will hold on and you won't let go. All right, I think that first batch is done. Oh, yeah, those are looking real good. Go ahead and pull these out. Bella, you ready to put the next wave of crawdads into their crawdad hot tub? Yeah. There he is, the big piggy. He gets to go in first. Look at that. Just keep ladling the rest in. All right, check this out. This isn't even all of them yet. I've still got one more batch to go. Bella, are you watching that batch for me? Yeah. Wait, don't put the rocks in there, you goober. That is almost what 260 crawdads look like. Yeah. It's gonna be a feast. So I was originally gonna just do 100 crawdads, but then after I caught 100 crawdads, I was kind of looking at them in the bag and I thought, I'm gonna be able to mow through these pretty quickly, I think. So I decided to up it to 200, and by the time I got to 200, I was like, well, just keep catching some. I honestly probably could have caught like 500 crawdads today, but I thought we better cap it off around like 250. As I'm looking at this mountain of crawdads, I'm starting to doubt myself a little bit, but you know, I'm hungry. I haven't had supper yet, so I think we have a pretty good shot at this. We'll find out here shortly. <laughs> All right, the final bowl of crawdads. You think that's pretty? Papa's getting a little nervous. That's uh, that's quite the mountain of crawdads right there. We got our bowl of butter. So it got a little dark on me. So we got the tiki torches lit, but better late than never. Let's do it. All right. Well, I guess we just get started. I'm gonna just eat the tails. If the claws are big enough, We'll eat those as well. Otherwise, we're just gonna toss them into our bag over there. First crawdad of 260 plus. Okay, I cooked them good. Good Cajun flavoring. I was a little worried that I cooked them too spicily, but I didn't. About the only thing that I'm not gonna do, that I know some people like to do, they like to suck the heads out. I don't care to do that. So I guess if you wanna find one fault with this, that would be that, but. Look at that big piece of meat dripping with butter. So good. So like this crawdad right here, you can see, those claws are big enough to eat. And the claw meat. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, quick status update. As you can see, 
I'm actually making a little dent in the pile right there. That's awesome. The bodies are starting to stack over there, so my mentals are doing good. Checked my vital signs. I'm still hungry, so that's good. Looks like my butter is starting to get cold, so we're gonna go reheat that up and uh, just keep at it. All right, quick status report. I'm about halfway through them right now, I would say. There's our trash bag of the carcasses. Really stacking bodies now. I'm checking my vitals. Uh, I still feel good. Uh, I won't eat just to eat. So if I do get full, I will stop because I don't want to waste anything. I don't want to be gluttonous, but uh, so far I still feel hungry. So we'll just have to see what happens. I, like I said, probably about halfway through. So that'd be about what, 130 crawdads or so. I'm pretty sure I've already passed the original goal uh, that I thought if I could eat a hundred. So we could definitely eat a hundred. We're still going strong, but excuse me, I got to go heat up my butter again. Well, YouTube fam, I am officially throwing in the towel. We have done this justice. I said I would not overeat, and I'm feeling full. Let's go ahead and count how many crawdads are left. The number that's sticking out to me is I want to say I caught 264. That's the number that kind of jumps out to me. So let's go ahead and stick with that number. Count the rest of the ones that are left. Let's see how many we had left over and see how many we exactly we ate. Got one, two, three, four, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. 74 crawdads left. Which that means, if my math is correct, and it should be because I was homeschooled, thanks mom, we ate 190 crawdads. You know, if I had probably eaten less butter, uh, I probably could have gotten to 200, but I had like half a stick of butter. So that's probably one of the things that ended up uh, slowing me down at the end of the day. But I just wanted to eat them for fun. I've always wondered how many crawdads can I eat without when you strip away everything else in a boil, the, the corn, the sausage, the onions, everything else. How many just raw crawdads can I eat? 190 crawdads, I'll take it. I'll take it. We're going to go ahead and just throw the rest of these guys on the ice in our cooler, and I'm probably just gonna end up eating them tomorrow. <laughs> YouTube fam, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.